Welcome back to another vlog guys. Today it's 30 degrees outside and I rode 4 miles to McLaren Hatfield to see the brand new 750S which they are showcasing here for I think one of the first times, maybe the first time. So let's go check that out. So here's the new 750S. It's basically a 720S but they did a lot of upgrades by the looks of it and it has the new lights. Uh, the 720S doesn't have any paint in there. So usually when I take photos of cars, I um, post them on social media. So there are a couple of um, features that I always take photos of, like doors, maybe the steering wheel and some good looking photos of the lights too, maybe tilt a little, little or something. So in this case, I'll just take a photo of the entire car. Now, not only to do I take photos, I also take cinematic shots of the cars so I can make montages and I also post these on social media so they don't have to be long or anything. So what I do is actually I just make basic shots, I walk back and forth from the feature that I just did with my phone, which I'm currently filming with anyway. So I can't demonstrate it, but I can show you a few clips later. like that and that should make a re really good clip. So that is basically what I do when I visit some stores like McLaren, Ferrari or Lamborghini. I just take photos and cinematic clips and I usually post these on social media or some of them I print and you know have for myself. Sometimes when the owners don't want their cars to be taken photos of I don't show these anywhere. I usually print those and just put them in my albums or something or just keep them on my phone so I don't publish anything the owners don't want and yeah those cars that are legal to film or take pictures of I do take pictures of and I post them on my social media I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to see what they look like now when I edit my videos I open CapCut I think it's the best uh, phone app you can use Sadly, a lot of pro features, but still pretty good if you stick to the basic features. So here I just select all the good clips that I have. Um, quickly check if they're smooth or if I should keep them. So I'll just load them all in. And now I have to move back and forth and find the smoothest motion. And I'll only keep that and I'll cut off all the other edges and all the other parts that aren't smooth or anything. So I'll do that for all the clips right now. I'll speed that up for you guys. So uh, this is actually a longer process than you guys are going to see. All right, now that I've cut all the irregular or all the bad clips off, we can now head on to custom speed and I like to have the flash in or flash out and then I move the dots to the sides or pretty much to the sides until I have this um, cool move in effect that you can I think do with blender or some people do that with some program that makes it look really smooth but I can do it with cap cut and just doing these motions when I film the car. So that's about all for the editing job. If you guys want to sync it to trending music from Instagram, YouTube or TikTok, you can definitely do that by stretching out the speeds and putting one part slower or the entire clip slower so it matches with the beats of the trending music. But this is all I'm doing right now, just basic cut and find a music that sounds good, like this. And I'm out.